so as I was saying in my last uh, video that you have to actually go to the uh, actual installer the file whatever and I have already explained this uh, the difference between these two so let's for example uh, we have to install Google Chrome we're gonna go to it then we're gonna click on installers uh, when you install the when you download the Google Enterprise <laughs> it gives you a zip file which has all these folders so don't confuse just uh, follow the instruction so the third option is deploy sorry fourth option is deploy with PDQ in you simply click on it it's gonna give you a bunch of options so first thing you want I want you to do is click on properties and then name it name it Chrome and then you can click on step one since it's an exe we have to give it the silent uh, oh it's an MSI so we don't have to uh, do any of the parameter things uh, MSI uh, the by default they in, uh, install on the client machine uh, silently so we're all set here we don't have to do anything we just named it we click on this nice save, save icon we can exit out of it <coughs> uh, there are two ways of deploying it we click on it and then we can deploy once or we can cl click on new target list like we provided with which computers needs to be uh, deployed or this software needs to be installed on them let's do it once and <clears throat> right here I have that my laptop this laptop and for those of you who don't know uh, its name is win 7 laptop so <clears throat> there are two ways of doing it since we're doing it over the Active Directory on that as you see it's my server uh, either you can type in the name and click on add computer and it will show up here but I'm gonna go with the choose target Active Directory because I give it the Active Directory username and <clears throat> uh, password for the admin rights I could not show sorry I did not make the video for installing the PDQ uh, if anybody has having trouble I will uh, make that video as well so all you have to do is just click on computers <laughs> you select the computer from the list right here that's my active directory and it uh, by default it picks up the computers over there so <clears throat> I click on win 7 laptop I add it on the right side here I click OK and then I click deploy when I click on deploy I want you to see the uh, pay attention to the status here you see it's saying connected connecting copying and running so <clears throat> if I go here there's no I can write here nothing so we're gonna wait for it over there when it gives us the complete or uh, completed we'll see the Chrome over there on our laptop <clears throat> In my testing, uh, if it takes about a minute or so, but if it goes past that, it's fail. Like it will keep saying running, but nothing is happening. <clears throat> so give it like a minute or third, uh, uh, minute and a half. But if it goes like past two minutes, definitely something is uh, wrong. <clears throat> but of course, I'm on the hardwired network. So it could be different for the Wi-Fi. You see the check mark over there. Uh, it says, um, so it took one minute, seven seconds. It's the status is finished. The check mark is uh, green check mark <clears throat> over here. It says successful. So we're good. We should be able to see that uh, Chrome installed on our computer. And there it is. That's why I'm making this video uh, this late at night because I have only 10 days for this evaluation uh, uh, Windows 7. Alright, so to test it out, like always, we'll go to YouTube and see if it works. Let's go. And the browser is working <laughs> it's loading painfully slow uh, but maybe it's because of the first time uh, with the silent install or MSI is the software gets installed but uh, 
it still keeps all the files so when the first time user runs it uh, everything like all the little things that gets installed at that time so for the first run you don't have to be worried so we see <coughs> um, okay. all right so it showed up and we can see we don't have the uh, Firefox in there uh, we only have the Chrome now we're gonna go and install the Firefox on it for the Firefox Uh, so this deployment is done let me make another video uh, just for the purpose of like uh, clarity and keeping them short I'm gonna make another video for the Firefox